abanye bathwala nge albino abanye bathwala nge yellow bone mm-hmm. with the yellow bones one mm-hmm. they date those women bathwala ngabo within the relationship okay yeah the albino one they sacrifice and kill okay the white one mm-hmm. they either can kill or they can use that white person or the hair of that white person etc etc body parts of that white person okay so there's a currency in whiteness even in so in society you will see people they want to bleach their skin mm-hmm. you will see yellow bones are more attractive in the social stat- status in the media status etc so that thing carries weight in the dark spiritual space not in the pure spiritual space in the dark spiritual space because oh. the, the the fabrics of gutwala it's in a way it's, it's witchcraft it's uh, it's dark magic okay my question would be how do people attract white people in order for them to do things to you like for instance yellow bones is relationships mm. right they do everything based on a relationship or they are sold a dream of a relationship and that's how someone will twallow with them but a white person how does it happen? Do they relationship okay. with them? In spirituality, we do not. De- we use things that exist okay. that has uh, that have significance in society. Mm-hmm. So when you talk about the white person, you talk about wealth. Mm-hmm. Where is we- the wealth? Mm-hmm. It's in the hands of white people. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you go to a restaurant, how does a black person react? Mm. when that person is serving a white person and you mm-hmm. and it goes back to the language we use our great grandfathers used mm-hmm. when your great grandfather was complimenting you was mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. so anything that is white it's associated with wealth with attraction with power with status mm-hmm. so that's why i'm listing a white person an albino mm-hmm. a yellow bone etc so even pastors for instance they will date a yellow bone on purpose mm-hmm. some people will marry a yellow bone mm-hmm. yeah but it's it's a it's a expropriating yeah. that lack that comes with the yellow bone because in essence when you because even in the media space at large mm. yellow bones are more favored than dark bones slender women are more favored than chubby women so it's a narrative that is there in society. Spirituality doesn't shy away from that. It uses what we know, what we define, and what we hold dear, and what we hold as having a status. Are we saying that um, our brown females, no one twallows with them? No, they do. They do. Mm-hmm. But I'm talking about predominantly. Okay. The consensus. Mm-hmm. It's not like they don't. They do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and but the obtain- consensus. Do they obtain the same things that they would from a yellow bone from a brown person? That brown person will have to be spiritually inclined. Okay. They, they just don't do it randomly. A, a, in a yellow bone and a white person, you don't have to be spiritually inclined. Mm-hmm. But in a dark bone, the power that you possess is being spiritually inclined. Then they can use that for a Okay. Because now it's beyond your beauty is beyond your skin color mm-hmm. but it's about spirituality that's the quantity that they use how do you how do you identify that a person actually wants to twala now <laughs> is it possible <laughs> yeah uh, i you will pick it up along the way in the relationship okay uh, you will pick it up along the way but uh, i don't wanna like if you're not spiritual then yeah. it becomes very hard for you to identify because these are matters of the spirit. So okay. now, if you're not spiritual, if you do not dream, and if you don't look at the baby, you don't know. And in, in most cases, some people, when they are using your spirit, they don't want you to work. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if you work, everything you report to the guy. But but in essence, they don't want you to work. They just spoil you with money. You can go to Dubai and other places and all of that stuff. <coughs> but you will not be independent. And when it, and when it comes to you want them to run your own business, then they will not support you. Because mm-hmm. even that money on Twala is not in it for investment, it's mm-hmm. for just donation, just giving it away, blowing out, blowing it in a nightclub, etc. Okay. But yeah. 
any other pointers i mean besides the fact that you won't be able they don't want you to work or they I'm, won't invest yes. in any of your things no uh, but you've got to be spiritual to detect mm -hmm. to detect because those guys are very smart some will appear as if they are helping you mm -hmm. uh, but i wanted to touch as well on the baby part yeah. uh, the baby part it's almost similar with the spiritual mm -hmm. inclined and also mm -hmm. the the yellow bone one when it comes to babies it happens in churches okay. as well in fact predominantly as well in churches whereby this pastor or prophet was a utwala using a baby a baby can be under a year mm -hmm. uh, so a couple of months old then using it that mm -hmm. and then that the purpose of that is for the congregation to be full mm. and when this pastor or prophet is preaching mm. uh, he, he will draw the emotional elements of the congregation because mm. one let's look at the, a baby a couple of months old yeah. everybody loves a baby True. everybody is fond yes. uh, even Mm. So there's that emotional attachment. Now, mm. now what happens to a congregation when you are preaching? It gets touched. Mm. And by emotional invested to this prophet and this pastor. To an extent that if there's somebody else delivering a sermon, mm. they won't feel it until you yeah. move. Yeah. So as a spirit, Salamdana, draws your emotions and you will feel closer to God. But you will think you're feeling closer to God, mm -hmm. but you are not. Mm -hmm. You are being drawn as a Using spirit. You are being spirit. sympathetic in that manner. Yeah. Yeah. Does it actually matter whether it's um does the race matter of the person of the church? Or everybody now is doing it? Because sometimes people believe that it's only African churches. No, it's not. Yo, I don't want to mention the big ones, eh? Yeah, but, there are those big ones, foreign ones. Okay. No, it's not only Africans. Okay. White people, they do it. Right. But it's just it's just that we do not talk about it. Mm -hmm. uh, we do not talk about it. There are a lot of white people who do this. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, we're just concerned about our own, since mm -hmm. we experience this among our own. Uh, so if you grew up in white areas, friends with white people, uh, mm -hmm. you will understand in depth how they do it but mm -hmm. for us we speak only in, in our perspective because we grew up in the townships we grew up in the villages we understood those things so when we speak we speak from the black perspective but okay. white people they do is it safe to say that that church now starts to become sort of a, like a cult it becomes a cult not even sort it becomes a cult okay. and there's nothing else you can do you will fuck him good money, good money, good money, good money. You donate even 10% of your salary, gone. It's a cult and you don't want to hear anything about your pastor. But then how do, how do you help someone who is in a situation like that? How do you get your mother, your sister, your brother out of a church where they have sacrificed a baby and now they are drawn to that, the spirit, the, the of, spirit that of that innocent child? How do you help them um, get out of that situation or snap out of it? <laughs> Because for them, they believe so much that that church is healing them. That church is for them. They are closer to God, mm. but it's because of the spirit. So it's difficult. You can't just walk up to them and say, boom, unless you are a stranger. Mm. Then it happens mm. once or twice or three times. Mm. Then that person will be. Mm -hmm. And you have to trigger it with luck. And when you trigger the ancestor of that person, mm. then that's when that person will start it was will start being alert mm. and and that person will start dreaming uh but i'm not gonna go into the details yes. of it but yes. i wanted also to touch on the womb yes uh, some people they date partners whereby those partners they sacrifice the womb yeah and then this person keeps on having miscarriages miscarriages left right and center mm -hmm. and as a general public we cry mm -hmm. we sympathize with this person mm -hmm. but we don't know that person also knows that he has given up she has given up the, mm. the womb mm. so every time she gets pregnant she will have miscarriage mm. and the womb yak. Okay. so the snake is feeding that womb is feed it, the snake feeds itself through that uh, yes yes that 
Okay. So the person ne, who is pregnant is the one or twalange the womb or is it the no, partner? No, it's the partner, but they are in who, bed who, together. They know so they they've know. committed this okay. together. Okay. But some people they don't know. Some women they don't know. Mm -hmm. Not all of them agree. Some mm -hmm. they don't know. But so, so she gets shocked every time. She she has a miscarriage, yeah. and then the the guy you will not suspect he will mm. become supportive and everything else. He will sympathize with your pain of having a miscarriage. Gandhi, he's also adding to yes your misfortune and pain. Exactly, and you don't know he he nunca embete felle bush. Yo, um, just to ask, um, I'd like us to just get into the family member one. Just mm -hmm. like Okay, I was gonna end it before that. <laughs> so some people look but twala with family members. Mm -hmm. Whereby in this family member there's only one uncle or one brother that is successful, mm -hmm. that has everything. The rest of the family member is broke as hell. Mm -hmm. And whenever there's rituals that have been done, this guy is pushing, pushing, pushing mm -hmm. for every family member to be present, in particular the ones that are spiritually inclined. Mm -hmm. because of when he and also he is very generous when you are in a problem to give you money mm -hmm. because of he wants to appear in the ancestral mm -hmm. uh, life mm -hmm. as a person that is supporting the whole family so when he's giving you money and you say thank you every time you're giving this person money you say thank you i'm a brother my uncle is very supportive or my my sibling is very supportive whatever the case is mm -hmm. not knowing is manipulating your blessings mm. to come to him mm. and even when he's doing rituals because now utwelling in Basla of the whole family mm. if we get he dive that into Yena mm. and the man who was one they see him they will say yeah one is the pillar of this family mm. yeah so and so yeah is helping this family is mm. helping people here everybody is praising this person mm. so utwelling the family young and when I will never go ahead I've actually heard of aunts as well, not just um, the male side, but also the female side where they've done that. And it's the aunt who takes everyone through school. Yes. It's the aunt who um, who has all the family gatherings at her house. It's the aunt who contributes with groceries and so forth. And everybody leans on this person. Is it safe to say that it is not just... Um, Dominant on the male side, but also they are women no, who, who specialize in Utwala as well. <laughs> women are taking up space and cementing themselves into this industry, <laughs> but mostly <laughs> it's still predominantly white, uh, not white men, men male dominated. Yeah. But women are taking up their own space mm -hmm. and cementing themselves into the industry of Utwala. <laughs> so if you are seeing um, that you have a relative, who is doing this or you just realized from maybe a consultation that your aunt or your uncle or your father um, or in the in the household what is the best thing to do what is the first thing that you could advise a person in that situation um, we don't need all the details but the first thing because most people want to know since I have learned Obawam has the snake and it's doing this to mm. us I think first and foremost, if you are living with this person, you, you need to get out. Mm -hmm. You need to get out, and you don't have to tell that person to pre and uh, you don't you, you don't have to give them uh, the yes. advantage. Yeah. Yes, get out of the house and uh, search for a healer, and get mm -hmm. help, mm -hmm. and make sure that you limit the calls you take from that person. Uh, so yeah, uh, for me, that's what you need to do, and uh, part of the things that you need to do, you need to. Do things that will attract Mandozako back to you as Sabenzelewena. But is it possible to ukaula lando yok twala if ikazlako li 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 funds with this thing since you were a child? It's very Im not impossible, mm -hmm. but it, it's when you see it, it looks impossible mm -hmm. because it's very hard. Mm. And there are few people who are able to deal with that. Because mm. this thing has been part of your life. It has your blood. Mm. So it's part of who you are. Yeah. So for me, my experience, uh, not that there are not healers that can deal with it, but 
probably there are very few who will travel the whole country mm -hmm. and not find one. Mm -hmm. uh, but I will say, go to a healer mm -hmm. and then you get help. Mm -hmm. Then after that, the the journey is not done there. Mm -hmm. You need to work and work and work in your own space mm -hmm. because it's gonna come back yes. and it's gonna come back angry yes. and it will try and depress you psychologically. It tears a man mm -hmm. so that you give up. Mm -hmm. So you need to fight. Do not think. For me, I find it. Some people have experienced that they need to elevate a stronger sabo to help themselves. Mm -hmm. But in a way, it's very difficult. I don't want to lie. Very mm -hmm. difficult. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I, I said it was going to be a short segment. It is. <laughs> yes, segment. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks to the special edition of this Ukutwala uh, episode. But uh, I think in future we'll dive dive a bit more and more of the on this topic uh yes come on